Hello students, my name is Mr. Potter. I'm your seventh and eighth grade AVID teacher. And today we're talking about the future, your future. I'm gonna start by asking you a simple question. Which is a better way to get yourself organized for school? I'm talking about a place where you can put all your homework, your classwork, your stamp collection, your love letters, the hoard of Madison books you all seem to have somehow. Is it A? A ratty, disgusting backpack. Look at this thing. How are you supposed to find anything in here? I mean, what? Or a sleek, beautiful, organized binder. Let's talk more in my office. Welcome to my office. This year at Madison, all students are going to be using a binder, just like this one, to stay organized and efficient. This binder is going to replace your former systems of organizing. So if previously you had multiple folders, or if you had maybe one binder for this class and one binder for this class, this thing is going to replace all of those. So very briefly, I'm going to go over three things. One why we are using a binder, two, how you could procure or get such a thing, and three, what does the inside look like? Okay, so number one, why do we all have to use this binder? Simply put, it is because this is the best organization system out there. I would not be telling you to make this binder if I did not think it was the best system and that it was going to help you, okay? What this is going to do is it is going to replace all of the random junk you all have in your backpack. It is going to take all of the pencils, highlighters, pens, pieces of paper you've had in your backpack for 12 weeks, and it is going to put it all in one place where you can easily find it and access it, okay? You're not gonna have a situation with this binder where you are sitting in front of a teacher and they ask you for your homework and you're like, oh, well, it's probably in here somewhere. It's just, no, you are going to know exactly where it is and you're going to be able to find it. More than that, Hello, you're ruining my cut, BMP. And in fact, it is going to simplify your life. If you walked out of the house in the morning and forgot everything except for this binder, you're gonna be okay. And more than that, your teachers are going to love you because you have got everything in here. It makes you go from having to remember six different folders to just one thing. It's very easy to remember just one thing, okay? And so that is why we're gonna use this binder. It is going to get you organized. It is going to keep you from having less crap rolling around in your backpack and it is going to make your life easier. Now I know what you might be thinking. Mr. Potter, this all sounds nice. This sounds great. I'd love to have a binder like this, but how's a guy or gal like me supposed to get something like that, something so fancy? Well, would you be surprised to know that in fact I procured this binder for less than 20 US dollars. And I'm not guaranteeing you can do the same thing. In fact, you could get a much nicer binder than this. But, and we may upload this sheet, but with the help of movie magic, I can show you. I went to Walmart and was able to pick up all of the components for this binder for $19.69. So, especially because this binder is supposed to replace all of the school supplies you will need for at least the first semester, you can get all of that for under 20 bucks at any store. Well, maybe not like a movie store or something, but if this is a consumer warning, you may not be able to procure all of those for $20. Madison Middle School is not making a guarantee that you can purchase all of those for under $20. That's just for what I found at Walmart. Okay, don't, if it's more than $20, please don't yell at me. It's not my fault, but you can possibly get it for under $20 because I did. You go to Walmart, if you go to Target, if you go to Office Depot, I can't think of a fourth store. You could get all of this and it's pretty cheap. 
Okay. In the next part, we're going to actually go over what's inside, and you're going to see what it all is you would need to get. The moment we have all been waiting for, what is inside this binder? But before we go into what's inside the binder, what's outside the binder? On the side, you are going to write your name and your homeroom teacher. So in the unlikely and horrible circumstance that you ever lost this binder, it would be easily found and replaced and given back to you, okay? As well as that, you're going to write your grade on the bottom of that. I'm not in seventh and eighth grade. Let's make that clear, but I do teach seventh and eighth grade, so that's why it's there, okay? When you open the binder, it's going to start with one, eight, pocket that is to do, okay? So if a teacher gives you homework or like the first week of school, if a teacher comes in and gives you a... Uh, syllabus to sign to give to your parents or guardian and bring back you are going to put any homework or anything like that that you need to do tonight in this pocket okay next you're going to have a pencil pouch right here inside that pouch you're going to have pencils you're going to have colored pencils you're going to have a sharpener there's highlighters you can put pens in here anyway when you come to school you should have at least two pencils and a pencil sharpener and the other stuff in here this keeps you from losing all of this stuff I pick up about 10 pencils a period on the ground, and then I have students come and complain to me, and they're like, Mr. Potter, I lost all my pencils. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I have them all. You're going to put them in here, and when you start class, they're right here. Plus, I mean, you can customize these. I think there was like a Cars one or like a, I don't know. You can get pretty freaky. Okay, next, the first section is going to be for agendas. This might just be for my avid students, but I would like everyone else to do it as well. When you go into a class, you are going to write what the topic of the day is, and you're going to write homework if you have any for that class. And this goes for the first nine weeks. So you get a nine weeks at a time. This is going to help you keep organized. Remember, all of your homework is going right here. So when you open it, you're like, oh, yeah, I do have to do that. And you're writing it all here. Okay. Next, you start all of your core classes. Okay. So first one I started with is math. I'm not very good at math. So that's why I put it first, but any worksheets that you get, any papers that aren't hole punch that you don't want to hole punch, any important things you might need to look at, you're going to just put right in this pocket, okay? So on the divider, make sure these are colored dividers so you'll be able to tell the difference. There's like a 50 cent difference between colored and non-colored dividers, so I would get the colored ones. Um, next, you're going to have a section where you can just put in notes. Um, tests, quizzes, stuff that needs to be hole punched, and then you're going to have paper for the class, okay? So there's not going to be any more, oh, I don't have paper, I don't know, it's in another binder, I don't know, I don't have paper. You are going to have paper, and you're going to have it for every class, okay? So, and it just, it rolls like that. So you, you're done with math, your next period science, okay? So place to put all your notes, place to put all of that, and paper for the class, okay? Next, it goes all the way down to the back. Welcome, Mr. Proudfoot. Would you like to join my video? Um, and last, you're going to have, if I can flip the page, you are going to have a turn in pocket at the back. So remember, your to do pocket goes at the front of the binder. So stuff you need to do tonight, when you're done with it, you move it to the back and you're ready to turn in. So Where's my homework? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I know where it is because it's supposed to be back here. Okay. That is the binder we are going to be using this year. This binder is going to make you smarter. It is going to make you more organized. It is going to make you stronger. Mentally stronger. Maybe physically stronger. I don't know. It's going to make you better at chess. This binder is going to change your life. Okay. Uh, but really though, if... It, it, you do have any questions about it, you can come ask me. If you're on campus, I am in room six. Again, my name is Mr. Potter. I teach AVID. Um, or you can ask any other random teacher, and when they tell you that um, they don't know what you're talking about and to leave them alone about it, you can then come cry to me about it, okay? Um, really, though, I, I am excited to see everyone's binders. I am excited to see all of you again. Um, 
and I'm looking forward to this year. Okay. Goodbye.